Welcome to Solution Studio. This is a free series on IoT Internet of Things using Cisco Packet Tracer. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also like and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we are going to connect a home gateway to our network. A home gateway device acts as a local connection to your IoT smart devices. And this device was designed to provide internet access, wireless connectivity and local logic for smart devices. The home gateway device also provides an IoT registration service that we will going to see soon in the coming episodes that is always turned on and an auto discovery service for things in the local Ethernet and wireless network. So when your devices are on the local network, they can automatically discover the home gateway. And when after you are connected to the home gateway, you can control and monitor the smart devices from your smartphone, tablet or PC. Now I want you to be rest assured because we will go through each one of these steps that we talked about one by one in a practical manner and you will be able to fully understand the home gateway device. Okay, as a first step, let's go and add a home gateway to our logical topology in here. For that, I need to go to network devices and then in the network devices, I need to go to wireless devices. In here, I have the home gateway. Let me bring it on the topology. And now let me click on it and the configuration window will open. Here on the configuration window, I have four tabs, the physical tab, which shows the physical aspects of this gateway. I can zoom in, I can zoom out. And as you can see, I have five ports, one for the internet, four local ethernet ports. I have also wireless antennas attached to this home gateway. Here in the configuration tab, we have all of the configurations that are available for this home gateway. And in the GUI tab, I can turn on and off the IoT registration service that we talked about in here. We can turn on and off that service. And finally, in the attributes tab, we have some attributes of this device, which is the mean time between failure, cost, power source and other, and other attributes that we are not concerned at this point. Now let's go to the config tab and maybe remove this zero from the name of this home gateway so we can have it just as home gateway. Now let's close it and I want to connect this home gateway to the cable modem to be able to access the internet. For that I need to go to connections and then I will select a copper straight through cable, click on home gateway, click on the internet port and now click on cable modem and click on port 1. Now we have got our home gateway connected to our smart home network. Stay tuned and in the next episode we are going to add some end user devices to this network and they will be able to interact with this home gateway.